Well, hey there team, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to 10 Minutes Till Dawn. So this is currently on Steam, it's free. Um, we're gonna have a look at it today. It's obviously heavily inspired by the popularity of Vampire Survivors, which is a great game in its own right. You should check it out, it's only a couple of bucks. But we're starting to see all these sort of clones, inspirations, use whichever term you like, um, coming off the success of that. And it's ultimately an auto battler bullet hell game. This seems to be one where you actually shoot back as opposed to automated systems. Um, and apparently it's tagged as having like sort of Lovecraftian elements, which sign me up. I will just point out that there is a full version ap apparently. So this is actually one of the prologues that you see these days in this weird reinvention of demos. I'm not against it. I think prologue builds for free are fantastic because it's a, it is a return to the demo scene as opposed to the abuse of early access, taking full price money for a half price product. Um, so 20 minutes to dawn looks like it'll be the full version. But it is interesting that we're starting to get these prologues that aren't putting the term prologue in their name. Is it deceptive or is it the next level of marketing? I don't know, but it's probably worth noting. All right, so let's see what this is all about. Shanna. I can play as Shanna. Are these all unlockable in this build or unavailable? Okay, so I've got a couple of people I can unlock. And what are this? Bloody things down here. Crossbows. Cool. I've got a revolver, trusty balanced weapon, and I've got Shanna. Okay, cool. I like this art. I really like it, actually. Ooh, I like this music. Boom. All right, what have I got? Was the move? Left click, hold and shoot. <laughs> okay, okay. Do we have like an active reload? No, it's just standard reload. They seem to be dropping things on the ground. I want to pick them up. Oh, and I don't... Okay, so I don't have a dodge. Right, so this is actually playing a lot closer to vampire survivors than I thought. It's not into the gungeon or anything like that. Like, it's fire and move and that's it. So yeah, it's all right, I like this. This is actually pretty cool. It's a little bit more active than vampire survivors. All right, I really like the art and all that. I, I talk about this often. You gotta be careful using your menu UI in an art style of the game. See like the font, for example, because especially if you get into pixel art, it can um, obscure, we'll go with obscure, but it, it can sort of mess with the actual information that you need to divine from the UI, right? Generally speaking, if you have pop-up menus, I prefer just boring, plain, readable text. But this, this is a happy middle ground. This looks cool and it's ultimately quite readable. So you've got to survive for 10 minutes. Funny that, I wonder why that is. Maybe because the game's called 10 Minutes Till Dawn. This muted music is really fucking cool as well. Okay, so choose an upgrade and we've got a shitload and you've got like some sort of upgrade tree as well. Interesting. Oh, okay, so there's two paths to an upgrade. Oh, vitality. Frost Mage, your bullets have a chance to inflict freeze, okay? Your bullets have a chance to inflict burn. Fire rate increase. Projectiles plus one. Bullet damage less, not all more projectiles, please. You can re-roll upgrades. Okay. I wonder, do I always get a re-roll? Oh, give me those. Oh, this, this is very actually clever. Like I said, this is doing enough different that I would easily say this is not aping or ripping off Vampire Survivors, it's definitely inspired and iterating on it. I think the idea that it's all dark and we have this center light, you see like, you can see these dudes out here, it's, they're quite hard to see coming in. These are all very original ideas that, you know, Vampire wasn't necessarily doing. Yeah, I'm I'm immediately impressed with this. Um, okay, what have we got here? Fanfire, do I have any of my, oh, here we go, right. So there's your double shot. Oh, maybe we only have, Oh, no, no, no. Uh, do we only have five, five trees? No, 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 this is a different tree. We didn't have that last time. Okay, and so that's highlighted because we already have a prerequisite. When shooting your last ammo, also shoot 10 additional bullets in a circle. Oh, absolutely. No question. Oh, that music, that the slap and the, the uh, slide guitar a bit. That was a cool sting. Uh oh, do you explode? You look like you explode. 
They do. I, it's actually incredibly clever. I, I'll say it, the, the, this, the mechanic that um, you have to slow down to fire your gun, if you can tell, like I'm moving at full speed there, and then when I fire, I walk very slow. That is very inspired. That's absolutely value add. Um, this music is perfect. The, it, it's not super high energy, but it's it's cool. It's slick. All right, what's this? Quick hands. Now, why has that got white over it? Do you know what I mean? It's because I've clicked it. Right, okay, that's fine. Okay. So, figuring out the upgrade tree. Okay, quick hands. Reload rate increase, fire rate increase. I like that. Summon a magic dagger that seeks out nearby enemies. Magic dagger deals as much damage as your bullets. Mm. On every second shot, call down lightning to strike a nearby enemy. Oh my god, yes. Holy shield protects you from damage. No. Weak. Um, give me this, Electro Mage. Okay, yeah, this is fucking sick. So there's no dodges, there's no evades. We have three health hits, so the health system is really unforgivable if you finally get hit. And um, there doesn't seem to be a crit system unless we can unlock crits. This is good. I, I like that it's it's simple, but not simplistic. Right? Magic dagger that seeks out. See, I like the idea of that magic dagger. Max HP. Summon electro bug that calls down lightning to strike two nearby enemies. Okay. Fusillade. Plus one projectile. Oh, this is the top of that tree. Double base projectiles. No, I want to see what this electro bug is, seeing as he seems to be independent of me, right? Electro, like, does he just exist now? There he is. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, okay, this is good. Having um, some passive attack while I try and move is pretty handy. This is great. It's not just bullet hosing the whole time. You've got to have a think about how you're gonna how you're gonna shoot. Okay, cool. Max HP, fire rate increase. Shoot an additional bullet behind you. That's tempting. Your bullets have 35% chance to inflict freeze. No. Bullet damage. No, I want this split fire. Oh, that's not confu that's not gonna do my head in. Oh, did that tree hurt me? Fuck that, the tree hurts. Interesting, you get a big bounce when you take damage. Oh, music's building a bit. Fucking evil tree bullshit. Alright. Holy shield, no. Frost mage, no. Your bullets have a chance to inflict burn, no. Fire rate, reload rate. Fire rate increase as well. Let's go rapid fire. Can I destroy the tree? Look at this big dude. Go away, go away, go away. They are very Cthulhu looking, aren't they? These sort of squiddy, bloody looking dudes. Yeah, this is this is just oozing style. I'm really impressed. Like I said, if you haven't played Vampire Survivors, you should, because I feel like it's actually, it's gonna create a new sub-genre. I've enjoyed, in fact, I've, 
you know, I've, I've spoken about this before. I love seeing idlers and auto battlers. They're recent genres that have exploded, jumped off mobile. Uh, you know, the first thing you saw on PC was things like auto chess, that sort of stuff. Um, and then you've got your loop heroes and that, but I, I've been speculating that it will create more interesting sub genres and spin offs, sort of like how a MOBA spun off of an RTS. Um, and there might be a bigger uptake on them. And I truly think Vampire Survivors is fulfilling that prediction. Vampire Survivors is this weird subversion of auto battlers. And I think we're going to see a whole, we're already seeing a flood of games doing very close to similar. And I'm curious to see where they go as well, because this is great. This is the iteration that we need to keep it fresh. Now, I know I'm talking a lot. Um, I mean, you could go and play this yourself for free, but I have some thoughts on it because this is shaping the indie scene as we speak under our feet. Um, Frost Mage, no, I'm avoiding those for the moment. Someone a ghost friend that shoots piercing bullets? It's hard not to say yes to that. I like the little, look at the little symbols. I want a ghost friend. Oh, look at this, I've got lots of little pets. Let's go. Okay, he's shooting a big old bloody Pac-Man ball. It's interesting that because you have to stop and fire, fire rate is less valuable in this because you're not constantly firing. If it was a vampire survivor, having your fire rate increase is always a net gain. But because you have to move to get your currency, um, you have to stop firing. So it's interesting. There, look at that, and their move speed's probably gonna be big. Summon damage plus 15%. Summon attack speed. Your ghost friend now shoots towards where you aim. Okay, that's tempting as well. Rubber bullets. Bullets bounce. Bullets bounce. But do they bounce off like... Do they bounce off enemies? That I'm curious about. They do. Oh my god. Okay, that's unreal. That's that's nuts. <laughs> Let's go. I was like, there's no edges in this game. You know, there's there's no real terrain. Oh yes, I love it. I love this. <laughs> oh man, we're gonna be playing the full version when that comes out. We'll probably play the shit out of this version. I wonder what the difference will be. Uh, probably more characters and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, I guess. Holy Shield, Vitality, Haste is tempting. When lightning strikes an enemy, there's a 20% chance to automatically refill three of your ammo. That's kind of cool. Summon attack speed plus 50%. We're doing that. Destroy the tree. I wonder if the tree's invulnerable. No, it's, it's got damage numbers coming out of it. Oh, a treasure chest now. Hang on. That's a little bit... Okay, that's a little bit on the nose. All right, so far I've been all right with how close it has been to Vampire Survivors, but this treasure chest thing's a little... And this this will be an interesting turning point for the genre, right? Souls-like is now a genre. It's kind of normal for a game that copies Dark Souls to copy almost all of the features of it. The, I'm sure if you went back in time, people looking at games that were inspired by Dark Souls initially would call them rip-offs because they were so close. Maybe this looks almost rip-off-y, having the treasure chest. However, perhaps this becomes an entire genre where having the chest drop every now and then off alt creatures is just normal for the genre. Who can say? Time will tell. I don't know why I wouldn't take it because I don't seem to have limitations on my on the upgrades that I'm allowed to get. Like, again, using Vampire Survivors as a, a zero point, that has, um, that has limitations on the slots that you can take abilities into. So this doesn't seem to have that. Reload rate increase, more ammo. Summon a magic dagger that seeks out enemies. That's tempting. Fresh clip. Increase bullet damage after sec one second after reloading. No, I want the uh, I want the summon. Go dagger, go. Look, 
Oh shit. This is bloody My Little Pony bullshit. Oh, oh, oh. Um, power shot. Bullet damage and knockback. Hmm. I wonder how that plays into the rebound. Summon damage plus 40%. Are you, now, it says that. Is that just for this summon? Right, so if you didn't want to take this, you hang right. This is clever. So maybe I would rather have this heavy weaponry. Summon a magic scythe that orbits around you, deals as much damage as your bullets. Right, so I was reading that as all summons get plus 40%, but it must be specific to that summon. Hmm. It should say magic dagger summon or something, you know? Well, maybe you have a colored bit of text. See how it's white, magic dagger? Maybe make magic, well, no, because they're going with like a almost th three or four color system here. I don't know, I'm not 100% how to short, but saying summon damage makes me assume, this is why I was picking it, that all my summons get that damage increase. But I'm pretty sure that's not what this is. Hmm. Shooting when standing still has a 33% chance of not consuming ammo. Oh, that is not gonna fucking happen. I'm gonna try knock back. Oh my god, stop. Oh, you got me, you got me, fuck. Okay, you died. Okay, cool. Wishlist full version? No, but I will get it. Okay, let's let's squeeze another bit of a run in. Now that we've got an idea. So we've got some sort of currency here. 1300. Starts with very high HP. Can reroll upgrades once per level. Per level? Per level? What's a level? Oh, hang on. <sighs> See, does the game proceed through levels? I'm curious because that's what this infers. Otherwise, if it was one upgrade for the level that you picked, it would just say can reroll once, right? Starts with very high HP. We've got different guns here. We've got shotguns. Short range weapon that shoots many projectiles. Can I unlock the shotgun, please? Oh, unlock there. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I like that there's different weapons to be picked up in that as well. Okay, let's try the shotgun. Man, I'm going to play this. I'm going to play this in my downtime. You better bloody believe it. Yeah, give me that, that guitar. Give me that twang. Oh, it's a double barrel shotgun. Okay. Ghost friend. Hang on, hang on. Rapid fire. Reload. Oh, quick hands probably. Let's do that. Cool. It's kind of cool how you got to you stop and go a lot more with the shotgun. There's a lot of nuance to this. Um, your bullets have a 50% chance to inflict burn. I mean, if I'm one tapping things, why would I want to burn? Do you know what I mean? Boss enemies are only affected by. Okay, whatever. On every second shot. Call down lightning. Power shot. Enemies explode into five bullets when killed. Oh shit. I want that. That sounds cool. Alright, so let's let's start thinking ahead. Yeah, I haven't actually been paying attention if these dudes have been taking more than one pellet to kill. You know, when you're talking and playing a fucking stress simulator, it can be hard to keep track of everything.
Okay. Oh, what's this? What's this? Reload rate plus 10%. Max ammo plus two. Increased bullet damage by 30% for one second after reloading. I think... I think we take that. We take armed and ready. Shit. I didn't have any fucking fingers on Wazza. this it'd be better if there was more of a visual indicator of if we own any of the second tiers maybe there isn't I'm missing it max HP one now what's this here increase bullet damage and fire rate by plus 50 percent when you get hit plus HP two character size bigger and <laughs> regeneration that seems like a bit of a must-have, right? Haste. Inflict burn on you by enemies as you run. The fast you move. Walk speed. Wait, move speed or walk speed? Oh, you know what? Walk speed is when you're shooting. Ah. Oh. Fuck, let's take this. Let's take haste. Oh god. All right. Blazing speed. Oh, what's this? This is the top one. Increase reload rate by 5% for every enemy killed. This bonus resets after reloading? That's not that helpful on the shotgun. Oh, I mean, I guess if we start getting... It's for every enemy killed, so we start getting ghosts and passives and shit like that. Um, you know what, bugger it, let's take it because it's the top tier. Now, I'm curious, let's remember this the the uh, counterclockwise circle around a skull. I wonder if this opens up a new tree as well. Do you know what I mean? And bait, our bullets have drop off as well. They seem to fade over distance, which, you know, I guess is a shotgun. It makes sense. I think the pistol bullets were infinite range. Oh, what's this? Bullet damage, bullet size increase, fire rate reduce. Yeah, let's do it. speed 100%. I'm I'm actually really curious about that. Let's go. Oh, look at that. I don't really slow down now. That's actually unreal. So the re the treasure chest how it said you could choose not to take an upgrade. I could see that maybe it's the wrong upgrade in a tree. Or maybe you just don't want anything to do with that whole tree. And so, like, if I take a level one upgrade, so like this, for example, this splinter thing's only showing up because I took power shot previously. Maybe we just don't want this tree to ever rock up if we can help it. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Enemies explode into five bullets when killed. 
These bullets still, how, how do I not fucking take that? What's the other one? Big shot. Bullet damage, bullet size. Hang on a sec. Do we already have that? Don't we? We already have big shot. So it's not one and done. Maybe this is adding them to the pool. Oh, so Splinter and Big Shot now, now are in our pool because we took Power Shot. And then I'm curious if Reaper Rounds only gets put into the pool because you take Splinter and Big Shot. Like, are they, pre are they prerequisites? I kind of assumed you were choosing one path or the other. If that's, this is fucking cool. Let's see if these Reaper Rounds rock up. I want this splinter though. I want splinter. Oh my god, yes. So yeah. Um, the, the thing that it really has, it's doing a lot of stuff better than Vampire Survivors, and but you would hope for that, right? Because what's the other option? That it's just a shit ripoff? Um, so it's definitely building upon what came before it. But in that, where you do have some combo systems where you can combo items when you get them to max level, this seems to have a much bigger sort of progress tree. You know, way more tendrils. Ghost Friend. Summon a Ghost Friend that shoots piercing bullets for 22 damage. I mean, fuck it, why not? It's another upgrade. Might as well. So we do get the free reroll, which I've never used. Blazing speed. There's your Reaper rounds. Bullet damage increase. Piercing plus one. Bullets additionally pierce killed enemies. What does that mean? Piercing plus one. And bullets additionally pierce killed enemies. Does that mean it spawns a second bullet? Do you know what I mean? Like if the enemy's not killed, it would pierce him. So what's this saying? That it would pierce again? Let's find out. Let's go. I'm curious if my bouncy bullets are piercing as well. Imagine comboing. Remember that other one where bullets bounce? How does that affect piercing and bouncing? Do you know what I mean? Summon attack speed plus 50. Rapid fire will take. I'm not that worried about vitality. We're on one health and, you know, we usually only do half hour videos, so we die when we die, but I would probably take vitality more often. So that's interesting. So if, if that is opening, if prerequisites are adding more, now this is speculation, but if buying a prerequisite is then adding certain things to the random pool of upgrades, it's, it's sort of like, it's like the theory behind deck building where if you flood your deck, it hurts it. Do you know what I mean? Like if you put low value cards into your deck, that's actually a bad thing. You want a, a very powerful mechanic to things like, oh, I suppose Slay the Spire is a good example most would know. But Dominion's the, the card game tabletop that pioneered it all. The idea of deleting cards from your deck is actually an incredibly powerful uh, tool. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I wonder if there'll be a way to delete, maybe you can delete upgrades, so just like that card mechanic, right? Um, anyway, you can tell I'm very excited about this game with all this rampant speculation. Um, but yeah, so, so just willy-nilly buying things and adding their subsequent um, pre not prerequisites, post-requisites in a way, you know, the, the, the part of the tree that it unlocks adding them to the five pool when you upgrade is a, is a dilution, which is fascinating, which is really fascinating. I am so impressed with this game. I thought 
you know, not to assume the worst, but I was like, oh, it's just going to be more vampire survivors. Okay, whatever. Like, I'll have fun, but this has gone above and beyond. Um, again, that's not a knock on vampire survivors. In fact, it's, it's, its success is incredibly important for these games to exist. But um, this is a fantastic evolution of the space. I'm happy to see it. Anyway, I'm gushing. Go and check it out. This is free. This is the prologue build. Go, go play it on Steam right now. And I suppose keep an eye out for the sequel. All right, team, might just leave it there. Or oh, sorry, not sequel, full release. <laughs> might just leave it there for the time being and I'll catch you guys on the next one.